You may have seen them on the sides of barns or buildings, signs advertising to chew mail pouch tobacco. Today in Columbiana County, around the corner from the courthouse, an artist was working on saving history in Lisbon. Not this size brush, a little bigger. 67-year-old Bob Vrabel of Youngstown has been an artist his whole life, doing mostly commercial work. But today, Vrabel was at South Market and Washington Streets in downtown Lisbon, renovating a chew mail pouch sign. Anyone like this was done the same way, with the, with the blue border, the white and yellow copy. Today, Vrabel was working on the bottom half and the line that reads, treat yourself to the best. The building, dating to the 1800s, was bought two years ago by the Columbiana County Commissioners and now houses the county prosecutor. This is what the sign looked like at its worst. And I thought it was a great idea. Uh, Lisbon is an historical community and it kind of bodes well with uh, what we are as a county. So the commissioners approved paying Vrabel $2,000 to have the sign restored. See, I'm painting around the letters to form a letter as opposed to painting the letter itself. And that's called cutting in. The Lisbon sign was done originally by Harley Warwick, though Vrabel did not know when. This is what it looked like in 2000, as it appeared in Harley Warwick's book. He was the legendary mail pouch painter. He supposedly painted 20,000 barns. Bob Vrabel has restored a dozen chew mail pouch signs. His first one was in Niles. And the last one I did in Irwin, PA, it actually got a tag from the uh, Mail Pouch Barnstormers. It's an organization that follows Mail Pouch Barns. I'll be back. Okay. While we were there today, people pulled up in trucks and stopped on the sidewalk to talk with Vrabel about his work. I think it's going to be a great asset. We've had nothing but compliments from people that drive by and they honk and a few have called the courthouse. So we're real happy with it. About a month ago, also in Lisbon, artist Bob Vrabel painted this sign on an old building two blocks away from his Chew Mail Pouch sign. For 19 years, from 1927 to 1946, the building housed the Orange Kissed Soda Pop Factory. When cans replaced bottles, it was closed and the formula sold to Pepsi, which bottled it as Sunkissed. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.